Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to review the Nokia Lumia 710. This is Nokia's first entry here in the United States, anyway, with Windows Phone 7. This is a Windows Phone 7.5 device, or Mango device, it comes pre-installed with, and overall it's pretty nice. Let's talk about the specs a little bit. Now, uh, this is just the box, I'll move that out of the way. And uh, it's on T-Mobile here in the United States for $99.00 or as cheap as free, depending on when you get it and what deals you get. So overall, it's a nice smartphone, but let's talk about the specs. So we have a 3.7-inch screen, pretty nice screen, LCD, uh, LED LCD, really nice, and overall is pretty decent. It's the normal 480 by 800 resolution that you find on all Windows phones. It's standard across all of them, no matter what size at the current time. The front of the phone has regular buttons. These are not capacitive touch buttons. These are actual physical physical buttons that work really well when you're playing a game or something. You don't actually accidentally bump them like you do on uh, like a Samsung Focus or an HTC Titan. So here we have our speaker. On the back we have a 5 megapixel camera with flash. There's a little microphone there. We have our speaker phone on the bottom. On this side we really don't have anything. On the bottom we have just a little bit of an area for a strap here if you wanted to put a little strap on there. Then here we have a button for camera, typical Windows phone. Then we have a volume rocker up down. And then we have on top our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, sleep wake button, and micro USB to charge or sync. So overall the phone's really nice. It has a 1.4 gigahertz Snapdragon processor inside of it, which is plenty fast for this phone. It also has 512 megs of RAM along with 8 gigs of storage. So overall it's pretty nice. The video camera also records in 720p. No 1080p on Windows Phone yet. Hopefully that's coming in an update. But overall really nice. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And the outside of it feels really good in your hand. I forgot to mention that, but it's really nice, and you can swap these out for different colors. If we pop this off here, we can swap it out for another color. If you don't want black, you can have, I think, uh, blue and a couple other colors. But overall, really nice, and uh, let's go ahead and unlock it. So it's Windows Phone 7. It really doesn't look too much different than any other Windows Phone, with the exception of a few Nokia apps that they've placed on here. Uh, the, the capacitive touchscreen is really nice very responsive and overall does a nice job now the viewing angle on this screen is a little bit weird because of a true black LCD and that's kind of got a filter over it to make it really black and it's hard to see at an angle sometimes so let me see if I can demonstrate that for you you can see it gets a little bit difficult to see at an angle now I don't expect you to hold your phone at that angle but you can see that it's a little weird when you're trying to to view it at an angle just because it seems a little bit darker or seems to darken the screen uh, overall though the phone is really nice it has pretty good battery life too the battery lasts about a full day uh, the actual talk time is 6.9 hours and it's a 1300 milliamp hour battery so overall it does a pretty good job of lasting throughout the day unless you're playing games heavily on it or using the installed app that they have for GPS, Nokia Drive. And here you see Nokia Drive's right here. And this application is actually really nice. I used it the other day to see if it could find its way to where I work. I'm kind of in an area where there isn't a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, signal GPS-wise. But you can see here's the, the app. And it works pretty good. It actually zooms in and out uh, while you're driving to show you where the next turns are. Does a nice job. These are all the roads around me. You can see they kind of move up and down. Really nice, though, overall. And they do a good job of, of uh, directing you where you want to go with spoken voice. And it's built in and it's free. So it's on the Nokia platforms, uh, Nokia phones, and it's a really nice application. So that right there is almost a reason to either get this one or wait for the next Lumia 900 that's coming out soon for uh, Windows Phone. So overall, great phone, inexpensive, $100 or free, depending where you find it, and uh, really nice overall. I'll provide a link to the phone uh, below, and if you have any comments about this phone or have any thoughts about it or have used it, uh, please comment below and let us know what you think about it. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.